Hello, my people. This is your Renee from Kelly. Nate, um, this video is my comic haul for the month, as well as a bunch of unboxings we got. Now, you guys know I have been absent for a while um, from Cindy Comics because we've got too much going on. Um, so, what I ended up doing, just having them hold them all, and I picked it all up this week. And I had to get a short box for everything. Now, um, I did pick up one time earlier, um, but I didn't show it to anybody um, because of just timing and whatnot. Um, so I threw all those in here as well. So get ready, get your snacks, because this is a short box of comics and graphic novels that we got from Hypno this last month. So without further ado, I do want to say big shout out to Hypno. I love this box. Of course, this is the Jim Lee X-Men number one, the wraparound cover version. Um, and ironically, these boxes are made by NECA. That's why they're so good. They last so well. Uh, and I love how they did it because it still shows the artwork underneath it. All right. So, like I said, it's going to take a while. All right. So, we got ASM. I can hold it. Number eight. As Guardians of the Galaxy, number three. Astonishing X Men, number 16. The Battle Lines variant for Astonishing X Men. I thought it was cool. I, like, I love this Thanos cover. Um, the Avengers Halloween special, the variant cover. I didn't really like the regular cover, I only got the variant. But this is some fun this is some funny stories and some messed up stories. So definitely pick that up. Alright. Now of course this month also starts it's over here. Okay. So this month also starts the Uncanny X-Men number one is gonna be coming out soon. Uh because X-Men Black is over. But they're also doing the Uncanny X-Men variant covers for all the other Marvel covers, Marvel books of the year this year so this one is champions uncanny x-men this is the life held one this is the delgado deadpool okay we got death of inhumans the final issue this one is number five great story if you've not read it and you can't find the issues then still wait for the trade paperback and still buy it it's amazing. Donny Cage is killing people. Doctor Strange, number seven. The Lorne, Uncanny X Men variant cover. Extermination, number four. Another great read. Uh, we've got the connecting cover. I wasn't sure who did the cover on this. I couldn't, I couldn't tell if it was Delgado, Diado. I couldn't tell who did this one, but I like it. it's in the vein of the old X-Men. You got Immortal Hulk, number eight. And then you got the Immortal Hulk, Uncanny X-Men variant. And I was trying to figure out who did this one. Looks like Pacheco, I think. I think it's Pacheco. All right. And I've been asked a hundred times to do a comic collection one. Um, and this is kind of how I will probably do it in this kind of thing. Uh, just go through a short box, keep going. Uh, we'll, we'll probably do all that once we get set up in the next place. Uh, went and was able to get the Garen cover for Infinity Wars number two, the connecting cover. Only one I'm missing is number one, because me being a dumb dumb, I didn't pick that one up. Uh, we got Infinity Wars number five, the Marquez Uncanny X Men variant. Of course, the Infinity Wars number five connecting cover from Garen. Infinity Wars, Arachnite, number one. And the number one connecting cover with Adam Kubert. Uh, 
another, yeah, this is Iron Hammer, number one, connecting cover for Adam Kubert. Iron Hammer, number two. We got Sleepwalker, number two. Danny Warp, Sol Soldier Supreme, this is the Kubert variant. Danny Warps, Soldier Supreme number two. Weapon Hex number one. Weapon Hex number one, the very the Cubert connecting. Uh, Life of Captain Marvel. Um, this has been an, an awesome read, but it's it's retconning so much stuff now in it, just to make it more with the MCU universe. So. Just be aware of that when you read this one. Um, still a great story. Keep reading it. Um, but yeah, Life of Captain Marvel, number four. All right. One of the best stories I've read from Marvel in a long time. Marvel Knights, Marvel 20th. So it's called Marvel Knights 20th. That's what they're calling it because it's the 20th anniversary. But this is number one. Freaking A. And it's done by Donnie Cates. So you know it's going to be good. Uh, there's a connecting cover variant that they're doing with the, the series. Um, this, of course, is the first one. Got Kingpin and Daredevil on it. And then this this screamed old Marvel Knights from the old days. I love that, that design, how they did that. Marvel 2 and 1, number 11. Sadly, the last issue of this one. Moon Knight 200, the final issue. So, sad to see it go. But then I also got the, the David Finch variant. Had to. Had to have that one. Mr. and Mrs. X, number four. The final issue, Multiple Man, number five. You got a surprise ending at the end. That's all I'm going to say. Old Man Hawkeye, number 10. Punisher, number 3. And the variant. We got Return of Wolverine, number 2. This is slow. That's real slow. <laughs> I love the covers they're doing though, because this is the PX exclusive one from NYCC. Uh, we got the Marquez, one in twenty-five. The Declaim and Torque variant. We got the Century number five. And this is the final issue of that saga, too. So Jeff Lee Meyer did an amazing job on that. I'll tell you that. This one, I'm not reading spider Geddon, but I, I read this, and this was amazing. One of my favorite books I've read this month. Superior Octopus, number one. This is the tie-in. This is not the first issue of the regular series. This is just the tie-in. Um, but it's a one-shot. Definitely go pick it up if you can find it. That was my last copy that they had at Hypno when I got it. Alright. We're almost done with Marvel. Getting there. We got Thor, number six. Tony Stark, number five. Typhoid Fever. This is X-Men number one. This is an interesting read. If you guys have been watching uh, Daredevil and Typhoid Mary and everything that came out, definitely an interesting read. Uh, this was Venom. Of course, had to get it. This is the NYCC PX exclusive one. Had to have it. Uh, Venom Annual number one. Of course, the J. Mike Straczynski. Gotta have the Straczynski covers. Weapon H. Uh, 
uh, Weapon X number 25. What if Marvel Comics went metal with Ghost Rider? No. Out of all the what if issues, this is the weakest link. This one however, was really good. What if Magic became the Sorcerer Supreme? This was an amazing story. Because you just gotta think about magic and like what it happened if, you know, that happened. And this was a really good one. If you guys can go find it, it's such a comic shop, pick it up. What if Thor was raised by the frost giants? Um and this was an amazing story. I would love to see this like in a mini series versus just a one one issue series. So Marvel, if you're listening, make that an actual series. Make it an alternate universe. You guys do everything else with it. Uh, we got X-23, number 6. The Terry Dodson, uh, Uncanny X-Men variant. X-Men Black, Mystique, number 1. Of course, it's J. Scott. And the Mugshot variant. Stay there. Um, X Men Black Juggernaut. Stay there. The stack's getting huge, so to speak. Um, and the Mugshot variant. Alright. Alright, we're going to finish with Marvel, and then we're going to start with DC. Alright. So, X Men Black, Emma Frost. Alright, the Mugshot variant. X-Men Red, number 9. And X-Men Red, number 10. Alright, so you guys hang out. I'm going to move these out, put them back in the box, and then we'll start with the next set. Alright. Alright, so... We got the Walmart, 100 page giant, of course this is the Halloween issue of course with Swamp Thing, Batman, Blue Demon, uh, Reaper, Aquaman, and Scarecrow. My favorite of course was the Batman because it was a Neil Adams version of it. So, if you see this at Walmart, pick it up. Do yourself a favor. It's 100 pages too. I mean, think about it. Some books are $3.99, $4.99 each. That's $4.99 for 100 pages of goodness. Pick those books up. Alright, probably, this is probably the, I don't know if it's going to be, no, it is, my favorite book of the month, Batman White Knight. I've read this twice, because I wanted to see if I was missing anything, and I didn't the second time either, but it was still an amazing story. So, hit up your comic shops, if you didn't pick up the individual issues, go pick the trade paper back up, and as you can tell up here too, it's also a DC Black label now, so... Pick these books up. Amazing story. Amazing. So just think about it. What happens if the Joker went sane versus insane and Batman goes crazy? You know? And then they have to deal with that. You know? Just just think about it. Just an amazing, amazing concept. Need to do more of them. And there is going to be a sequel to it. Next summer they're going to have one with Azrael. So I can't wait to see how it's going to be. Alright. So we got... Aquaman. And you're saying Aquaman? Yeah, Aquaman. Number 41, and this is because of Drowned Earth. This is a new uh, crossover they're doing with Aquaman, Justice League, there's some one-shots, and then there's Titans. It's going to be part of it. It's a really good story, though. Batman the Max. Of course, Sam Keith. Got to read it. That's cover A. This is cover B. And, of course, had to get the 1 in 10. Curse of Brimstone, number 8. One of the best stories that I was really on the fence. And you guys knew it when I was talking about it at Cindy Comics. I was really on the fence how this was going to turn out. And he did an amazing job on it. And that's all I want to say. And I liked it. It makes me, makes me want to read these even more. Green Lantern number one by Grant Morrison. This is the Grant Morrison that I remember reading. They did good stories. Not some of the crappy X-Men ones. Not some of those other ones. 
This is a good story. This brings me back to the Hal Jordan days of the 90s and 2000s when Jeff Johns was doing it with Scott, you know. So, amazing story. Go pick it up. Go pick it up now. Okay. And then I had to get the quietly, the Frank Quietly variant cover. And then just because the black and white variant. Um Again, DC's killing it with these stories, though. Heroes in Crisis. This is done by Tom King. Love this series. Love it. Keep it going. And then this is cover B. This is what I was talking about earlier. So you have some of these one-shots. So this is Justice League, Aquaman, Drown Earth, number one. So. And then the variant cover. With Aquaman, Mera, Black Manta, and Orm, or Ocean Master. Um, Justice League number 10. This is kind of like the, one of the preludes to Drowned Earth 2. And this is one of the foil covers. And then an actual part of Drowned Earth. Justice League number 11. And then the, the variant cover. This is amazing. I love how they did this. I mean, just look at this, guys. This is how you do variant covers. Marvel, listen. Do, do them like that. Um, okay, Witching Hour. Some, my, one of my favorite sagas of the year for DC. Out of everything I've read DC this year, Black Knight, Dark, Witching Hour. Those are my two top stories. And you know, Green Lantern, it might make it to the number one, depending on how it goes. Right now, my number one for DC is going to be White Knight. And then, of course, you get the Greg Capullo variant cover for that one. Alright. Justice League Dark, Wonder Woman, number one. This, of course, is, a t is the finale to the series, to that saga. And then the variant cover for that one. We got Justice League Odyssey number two, which is of course the foil cover. And then you got the Terry Dotson variant cover of Jessica Cruz. But I still can't stand. Uh, final issue of New Challengers number six. It was a great series. I love Challengers of the Unknown, especially from the 70s and 80s. Sad to see it go away. Sandman, Books of Magic, number one. And then the B cover. I'm sorry, this dude looks just like Harry Potter. He looks just like Harry Potter. DC, you gotta be careful. Uh, you got Sandman, The Dream, number three. I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on with the dreaming because everything's shattered. Uh, we got Lucifer, number one. And imagine if Satan himself had got thrown into a situation where he doesn't even know who he is anymore or what he's supposed to be. That's kind of what's happening in the Sandman universe. And then the beat cover. We got Terrifics Annual, number one. And then the Foil Terrifics, number nine. All right. And we are almost at the end, people. I told you it's going to be a long haul this week. This is what happens when I don't do it once a week. Uh, we got Titans. This is that tie-in I was telling you guys about 28. The Unexpected, number six. There's a death in this issue. That's all I want to say. Um, we got Wonder Woman 57, of course. Witching Hour. And the Variant. And then we got Lucky, and then they finally um, were able to get me a copy of it. This is the Variant cover of Wonder Woman Justice League Dark. Wanted that one. From Boom Studios, we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 32. And the Variant. From IDW, Transformers, Bumblebee, the prequel. This is number four. 
cover A and cover B so so this is the last issue before the actual saga kicks off so um, if you want to know what's going to happen in the Bumblebee movie you might want to go read this one the, the trade paperback I think is coming out soon too so if you can't find the individual issues go get the trade paperback and lastly from Image the final issue Aphrodite V number 4 man this was such a great story I hate seeing good stories in Redneck number 16 and then courtesy of Walking Dead Day had to get it just because it's a Walking Dead number one it's of course Walking Dead Day version of it so I had to do it it's an amazing cover and I like how they did it on here there's like comics all over like they have they have action comics on here they have um, Walking Dead, Oblivion Song, Invincible, all the image comics on here. Um, yeah, they even got a little giant size X Men. I don't know how good it's going to show up on there. But that is nuts. They're lucky they didn't get sued for this one. Um, I like it though. Good on you, image. Alright, so we're going to get this uh, cleared out of here. And then we're going to do an unboxing of all this other stuff that we got. Oh, and one more thing I did get from Hypno. Um, I found it, and they had it, so I had to get it, because I needed it. Slug Slinger. From Titan's Return. Finally found it, and it was at a real cheap price, too, so I picked it up. So all they need now is Misfire, Top Spin, Twin Twist, and then some of the cassettes. For, uh, for sound wave. All right, so be right back in a minute. Stay, stay loose and sit with me. All right. All right, people, we are back. First up, we got a package. This is from my boy, Dudo. So, if you don't know who he is, go check out his channel. His link would be down below. Dudo reviews. Great dude. He's always trying to help out um, he sent me one of these awesome awesome t-shirts and it shows it says the figure game um, it says do dog reviews of course that's his YouTube so figure game so let's talk about that we all are hunters right right whether it be online or in shops or whatnot we're all hunters um, and there's always a figure you're never going to be able to find. That's why it's called a game. The greatest game, you know, out there is to try to find figures. So, hey, there you go. Figure game. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate it, man. Um, next up, we got a box. This is from my boy, Art Gutierrez. Art G on YouTube. Let's see, where am I supposed to untape this up? Um, but... We did a trade. Um, I sent him a Magic, Marvel Legends Magic, um, that, I, that he was looking for. And he had found something for me. So I said, I appreciate it, man. Because I was able to find this guy. Now, magically, if you watched my hunt video earlier today, my other one, you're going to see that I found this guy. That's how it always goes, doesn't it? You know, you, you go hunting trying to find something, and you can't find it. And then, of course, you trade for it, and what happens? You find it. So, thank you, Art. I appreciate it. And what we got is Studio Series Shadow Raider. Now, I know it is just a repaint of Lockdown, but for me, I like this cut. And I like it as it's in orange, too. So it's a different variation of it. I like that. So, Art, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. All right. Put you down here. All right. We got a box. And this is from Rick McDowell. Rick, um, he had had a couple of things up for sale on the Cybertron Cafe. I'll put a link down below. Um, so Cybertron Cafe is a place you can go buy Transformers. And it's really Transformers, uh, Masterpiece, Chug, you name it. Um, 
but he had had some of these on sale and he was just trying he was really getting trying to get rid of these so i said for sure i will hook i want those and they're nothing extravagant i mean you can see that the size of the box um and these are older too and they are movie ones so let's just say that all right So we got from Galvatron, and of course he does have does come with his cloak and his little mech tech gun. Needed a needed this version of Megatron, and what's sad is that as soon as I bought this, uh, Studio Series says they're coming out with one. You know, so I'm still gonna get the Studio Series one too, just to see how they compare with each other. But this is not a bad one. Um, I just wanted to kind of complete the Megs. Same way with this guy. I needed this one. I never had this guy before. Never found him either. Um, and it's the Age of Extinction Galvatron. So, definitely was wanting this one. I mean, you think about it. I mean, really think about it. They put Megatron's mind or in. They kind of copied him and made him into something else. So, not too bad. Galvatron. Yay. Oh, and he does have heel spurs. Yay. Yay for heel spurs. And he still can't stand. <laughs> All right. So, Rick, dude, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you. All right. Saving this one for last. This is the last one. But we did get a package in from Mondo. Now, of course, you guys know I am a vinyl collector as well as a Transformer toy comic nerd. Um, this has been one set that I've been keeping up with with Mondo is because I love this love this this one and it's not not just one but two we got Castlevania Rondo of Blood otherwise known as Dracula X of course you guys know this one this is this was on the Super Nintendo um, as well as we had it in uh, the US as well as oh, excuse me in Japan as Rondo of Blood Whew, excuse me but this is also the prequel to this one my favorite Castlevania game of all time Symphony of the Night. So, if you guys have not ever played this game, go and go get it. PlayStation Network actually has both of these games on it right now. You can go buy it. just came out, and they're remastered and redone. So, go get them. Um, so, yeah. I had to have it. Symphony of the Night. It's awesome work, Mondo. Thank you, guys. Put you guys right here. And then... From my boy, you guys know him as SwingPro71 on Instagram. The guy who finds everything, and I mean anything and everything. This dude finds it, man. Um, he had, now these have been out for a while now, just to tell you. Um, and and shout out to my boy Antonio Towns too, because he got me one of these too. And there's a story behind it. And once I show it to you, you're gonna know why. Man, Frank Bubble Wrap, he's like crazy. We got Redgar. Not one. But two. If I can get it to stand up. So, yeah, we got two Redgars. Now, you're asking, why did I want two? Well, because you remember. In the scene on the Transformers animated movie, Red Guard goes rides one of the Junkians. Well, there you go. You can go ride one of the Junkians now. Um, Tony found me another one, and guess what? I'm going to customize that one into a Junkian. Alright, so yeah, so we got Red Guards. Red Guards. Guards. Alright, and the last package, but not least, 
It does take a while to get here. This got stuck in the mail and got lost, I think. But it finally showed up last week, and I was telling the guys on Figure Action. Shout out to Figure Action. Go, go subscribe to them. Um, um, they had, they were at TFCon. Um, True Stars, not True Stars. Parts Former and Joe Crab were at uh, TFCon, and I was, I was talking to them, and they said, said, hey, if they, if you can, can grab me this, and they said, for sure, and they did, and I appreciate both Matt and and Joe for doing this for me, because I wouldn't have got it. I can tell you that. It hadn't been for them. Yeah, buddy. Well, that looks nice. That looks real nice. Say that. And we got the X Transpots G2 Crackup, otherwise known as G2 Breakdown. So, this of course is a new black hole, so to speak, because. I do want to do the G2 version as well as the G1 version, but I'm going to go with fans toys for my G1 version. So, X Transpots, KFC, whatever you're called today, I want to make sure and I pray that you do send out the rest of these because I want to do it. And I get it. All this is is the old the old crack up box with a sticker on the front, but I still want to do this set. So, Let's see it. Get it to us, people. Extra hands box, please. All right. So that is it, people. That was our comic and our unboxing haul. Like I said, this is the last one at the house. If I do get anything else in, I'll just put a picture up on IG uh, because we got too much going on in the house. Um, but yeah, I do want to say thank you, everybody that's been part of this um, with us. Going to a new home, and we're going to be in a new new hunting ground. So, you never know what we're going to find. You never know. All right. Like I said, big shout out again. Thank you to, so much to Doodog Reviews, to Art G, Rick McDowell, Mondo, Swing Pro 71, of course. Like I said, Figure Action, Parts Former, and Joe Crab. Thank you guys so much. This has been your redneck from County Nate. This is our last time here in Ventura. You guys take it easy and have a good one. All right, all right, all right.